Have you ever thought to yourself how you could give your park visitors a better view on the tiniest dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2? Now watch this. Hello everyone, it's Chumi here, and welcome back to the second episode of the Titan Food Park. In this video, I'm going to show an easy technique for you and other PC players how to create dinosaur exhibits in Jurassic World Evolution 2 for free. Making the tiniest dinosaurs of the game for guests actually visible has been a big challenge. If you own the base game, you have very limited options to manage that you literally need to place the water or the feeder in front of the viewing gallery to get these animals close to view consistently. The Compsognathus is our featured animal from the base game who is suffering mostly from these limitations. I feel that the Compi has been just the most invisible animal to play within the park, although it has a big reputation from the Jurassic movies. So I think the Compi just deserves to be seen from very close. And this is why I'm going to show you how to do that in just about a few seconds. As you saw, the first step for me is to plan what my section for the exhibit should look like. I had two competing ideas, both working with creating a walkthrough section using big rocks above to make you feel you enter the section for the exhibit. In the end, I picked the plan that worked with a more open structure, but I'm actually curious if you would have picked the other one. Let me know in the comment section if you like the other plan better and tell me why. So what you see right there, I used the log viewing gallery to create the exhibit. I leave out to build the entrance for it. For the most crucial part for this build though, you need mods. You can find the mod I use to be able to sync the log viewing gallery below the ground in the description of this video. Of course, there is a disclaimer that mods are not part of the game and although their developers are working on fixes, I advise you to use them responsibly and create backups before using them to prevent unwanted glitches and game crash. Anyway, after syncing the structure just until the flooring disappears, I used invisible fence, which I later found out was not useful at all. You'll see later and please let me know if you try this out at home and have a workaround for that. Here, just to keep my promise to me telling this exhibit could be built completely free, I would recommend you to use rocks. Invisible fences are part of the Dominion DLC, but rocks, they do the job just as well to keep the dinosaurs inside. But talking about rocks already, I also placed some rocks to cover the standing consoles inside the viewing gallery. This created a more natural look for the exhibit and you can also make people see the doors which you can claim is for the park staff to walk in. Just as much as I thought it would be easy, putting the objects inside the exhibit was a bit complicated. I did waste some time with a back and forth to place the feeder inside as you see, and it was a bit annoying, but a good lesson learned. You can now see that the first step is to place these things first and then move the sunken viewing gallery over it. Never mind, I did it. A couple of plants and planters to make it more blend in and it is finished. Almost. Now I went to create and build up the rest of the section according to the plan. I want to follow the plan, but not to the letter. This is a message to you as well. Sometimes you have a plan that looks nice, but you find some better ideas while building it up. That's the magic of this game. So just do it. It is the fun part of these projects. Sometimes you may even realize that the goal would be different than what you have on the plan. No problem. Just go for the goal that makes you the happiest. So now that we have the pillars in place and adjusted, we ensure that there is a shop here for our guests to buy some drinks for themselves. I actually was really happy about the pillars with these torches, because as I was building them, I already imagined how great mood they will bring to this section in the evenings. But now, let's find a way to place the rocks and start covering the whole section. This has been the most repetitive part for me, moving the rocks one by one. 
If anybody of you has been using Kai's toolbox mod to freely build and move objects, please let me know in the comments if there is a shortcut to select multiple objects and move them together. Or to copy and paste objects, that is also slowing down the processes a lot for me that I cannot copy objects. Thank you. Thank you for all the help you show me, guys. And I also thank you if you watch this video and you like it. You help me with that to convince YouTube's algorithm that people like these videos and would want to watch more. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and check the bell icon. I am working on multiple types of content of which building parks is definitely an intended one. With subscribing, you will get a better chance to watch the new episode and other videos of these series when I release them. So shortly, thank you and please consider subscribing and liking the video. Last but not least, I want to make sure that you know that you can build this type of exhibit for other animals than the Compsognathus. The Morus intrepidus is just about the same size and I'd maybe even risk it to build it for one Lystrosaurus to fit inside. These animals are parts of the Malta expansion though, so you would need to pay for them to try. Well, I really, really hope you enjoyed what you have just watched. Let me release some compies and show you the results in a second. For future episodes, don't forget to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye.